So, Mr. Mitchell, you receive a call at work one day. That's correct, John. And it was from which son? Or it was both? from my son, Caleb. Why don't you come up, Caleb? And Caleb, you're 14? Yes. Why don't you tell us what caused you to call your father the day that this happened to the pets? Um... You were home yeah. the day that this happened, right? What were you doing at home? Um, just hanging out inside. And did you see anything unusual that caught your attention? Yeah, the dogs. And tell me what you saw. I saw them attacking our pet sheep. And how many dogs were there? I think there was two. Had you seen them before, or did you just see two dogs that were there? Um, I saw two dogs there. I think I recognized them, like, from his house, because I, like, would bike by there sometimes. And so when you saw the dogs attacking the pet sheep, what did you do? I grabbed my brother, and we went inside and grabbed paintball guns. Your brother, Brett? Yeah. Did you call your dad, or was that later? Uh, I think I called my dad before that. Brett, do you want to come on up? Yes, Your Honor. So why don't you tell me what you were doing when you discovered that something was happening to the sheep that day? Well, it was a normal day. I was just chilling, just relaxing at my, in my house, and my brother quickly grabbed me and told me that the sheep was getting attacked by two random dogs. I personally didn't recognize the dogs. They were indeed dogs. They were not coyotes. Did you see the dogs yourself? Not a good view, but okay. enough to the point it looks like a pit bull because of its sturdy looking build. And you could see from a distance that the sheep was definitely being attacked. Yes, I saw it and I'm like, Caleb, we gotta go. We gotta like shoot the paintball guns at the dogs. Why did you think to grab a paintball gun? Well, we obviously can't use a gun because... Right, do you have guns on the property? Yes. Are you trained Alleged on... guns, Your Honor. What, what's that? Alleged guns. Okay. Alleged guns. Okay. No, no, not alleged. Okay, we do we're have some getting... real guns, but they're not 18, We're so... not getting into the yeah. legality, yeah. so I'm just asking you right now, do you know how to use a firearm? Yes. But you went for your paintball gun? Yes. Okay. We already had the paintball guns ready. Like, we would just randomly just shoot trees. They're not... They don't bring any serious harm to animals or, or humans. Or people. So, Mr. Magania, you were not there when this happened. Correct. One of the things you said in your answer is that your pit bulls get out of your enclosed property all the time. Yes, Your Honor, it's because I was constantly trying to keep the dogs in the house, but I was buying chains, leashes, but they were find a way to escape the house. Or my mom left the gate open because she doesn't pay attention. <laughs> if your pit bulls get out a lot, why do you not believe your pit bulls were responsible for what happened to their pets? Because like I said, uh, there are a lot of coyotes in the area and my dogs are also not the only ones in the area. Uh, I believe Joshua's neighbor, another neighbor, has dogs too. And Does my... he have pit bulls? I, I don't really know. You heard Brett, the young man, say that he saw dogs and they looked like pit bulls to him. Do you have any reason to doubt that? I'm not sure. All right, one of the things I understand that you brought us is a video that you claim shows coyotes in the immediate area of where this took place. Yes, Your Honor. When did you take this video? I didn't take the video, it was actually my brother. And okay. And it took it like a couple of years ago. And once we play the video, why don't you go ahead and tell us, if you can approach the video, tell us what we're seeing. just right there. If you go to a start and slow it down, you can see something. Let's go ahead and try it one more time. Right there. Go back a little bit. I think it is right there. It's really, it's really, really hard to see. Yeah. It moves fast. They always try to hide. A little time. movement at the very beginning. Okay. Mr. Mitchell, do you deny that there are coyotes in the area? Unequivocally, Your Honor, there's plenty of coyotes in the area, but I would just like to bring up a couple All points. All right, so when you say unequ you unequivocally deny it, you agree that there of are co course, many there, coyotes there are in the area. plenty, yeah. You just don't believe that it's a coyote because... Well, they're nocturnal animals. When they are in packs, it's because they're hunting at night. When you see them during the day, they're often alone, and it's typically a male looking for a female for the reasons that repopulate. Oh,